you're coming too. Join us as we grow from a building channel to a sailing channel. One day we'll be floating in the tropics and I'll be drinking a margarita. Yeah. Our heading is set south, and our home-built boat is getting us there. Can't wait to show you guys. We're Salt and Tar, and this is our life. We're happy to share, and thanks for watching. We're in Puerto Escondido, where there is a marina and mooring field. For less than 500 US, Rediviva gets to call this place home for a month. So this is what they call the captain's lounge. And that is the remote for the air conditioning. A plush couch. And I've got my little editing set up here in this corner. And I can even see the boat from here. Even attached to a mooring, we have full access to all the marina facilities. This captain's lounge, laundry, the pool, and unlimited showers. <laughs> Most afternoons when the heat is at its peak are spent poolside with a book. It was nice to chill in some luxury, but we were also getting stuff done. Today is gonna to be a souping day because day after tomorrow, we have flights booked back to California. <laughs> Since the mooring here is so nice and so convenient, we've decided it's a great place to leave Red Aviva for a week. Actually, I think it's like nine days. Our visas are up anyway next month. So we're just kind of getting a two, three week head start on it. So to leave the boat for a week all by herself, we want to make sure that things have a fresh coat of soup and uh, on the deck and on the cabin top, a fresh coat of teak oil. Even though we did it just last month, it has been so hot lately. We just want to make sure if it's crazy hot while we're gone, there's a fresh coat on everything, so. That's our task for today, as well as a few other things, a few other loose end things to tie up before we head out. I'm really, 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 really excited to get to see Swab. So, day after tomorrow. <laughs> our soup is a sailor's slop. Like a good Mexican mole, the pot never runs dry. It just gets added to with the ingredients we have on board. That's right. Get to the future. <laughs> Be better at it. Hey, one week. We've been sober a week. One week. Holy shit. One week today. Look at how productive we're being. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to oil the cabin top. That wasn't too bad. Wasn't bad at all. Still worried about what the summer in the Seal Cortez is gonna be like and how Red Aviva is gonna fare. We'll see. I mean it's a test. <laughs> the reality is, I mean, especially since we plan on being in the tropics, we might just have to start painting things. But we'll see. As long as we continue to get better about being on top of soup and teak oil yeah things seem to stay pretty stable 
it's not too bad. And honestly, it's really not that much work. We're just, we've just been little babies about it. We've just been drunks. Yeah, yeah, we've just been drunks. <laughs> Now that Rediviva is more complete, not done, but the work is lightening, it was time to work on ourselves, and sobriety seems like a great place to start. Clear mornings and mellow nights to ready us for the next dream yet conceived, and to finish what we started. Okay, it's time for, uh, I guess the final stage of Rediviva's sunscreen before we go back to California. I just got all the stuff from on the deck, on the cabin top. I don't really bother doing too much cleaning or scrubbing. It's not, this is not for aesthetics. It's just for uh, keeping the deck from getting roasted by the sun too bad. And it all bleaches out and grays out pretty quick anyway. Got the deck ready. So I'm gonna set the camera up and start rolling on some oil. Oh, the deck is gonna be so happy while we're gone. Mm -hmm. I didn't see you had one up. Yeah. Oh. I told you I was gonna film it. I know. I just thought you had forgotten. Because <laughs> <laughs> I saw this one on the settee. We are doing so good on our checklist. Feels awesome. The only things left are take out the trash and tidy the boat up a little bit. And we still need to pack. But I think we're gonna pack really light because we've got quite a lot of mail coming to my sister's place that we're gonna be coming back with. Just doing some editing while Garrett's doing the teak oil and then he still has to pickle the water makers and oh, and then he's gonna do a bridal connection to our mooring line. Cause right now we're just a single line attachment. It's been fine when we're on board, but this way it'll be a little bit more secure. The boat will ride better. We have a bunch of boat stuff coming to my sister's. Parts, spares, things harder to find down here. We're also tracking down used sails to improve our light wind performance. <laughs> oh, well, hello. Hello. Just gonna run a bucket of just straight fresh water through the whole system. And then I'm gonna mix up the preservative, the biocide. Run that through to pickle the water maker, and we should be good to leave it for a little over a week. They're on. Yeah. We've taken our final showers here. We're going to hoist up the dinghy because we're going to take the water taxi in in the morning. Uh, they should come around to get us around 9.30 and then we got a shuttle to the airport at 10 for our flight shortly after noon. And then to Phoenix and then to Sacramento. Should get in about 10.30 in the evening. Excited? No, I have to get on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you like flying? Because it's a terrible, horrible, death trap in the sky. <laughs> uh. Last thing before we leave is close all the through halls. We're actually on time. <laughs> is this what the life of sobriety looks like? You're just like prepared for life and things go more smoothly than you thought because you're not hammered all the time. <laughs> What a strange, interesting, and illuminating new world we live in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put this on. And I don't even remember. How Over a year, probably. That's a very cool boat. Uh, oh, thank you. My wife told me you guys built it. Yeah, we did. How long did that take? Uh, eight years of counting. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready to leave our eight-year-old for the first time in a foreign country, and it feels pretty cool.
Gracias, amigo. Thank you. Have a good flight. Yeah. Hasta luego. I know, it's so good. cold in there. Yeah, my toes are Yeah. Keyboard and keyboard must be detached for takeoff. Uh, we appreciate your cooperation mine? with this request. We're now almost ready to go. Garrett's a nervous flyer, but I love it. We fly over Islas Coronados and San Carlos, Guaymas, places we'll anchor soon. We landed in Arizona, our first time back to the States since we crossed the border last December. You're alive, even though the pilot tried to crash us. Huh? Uh, uh, yes, yes, I'm alive. Landing was a bit rough. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Garrett was almost like, this wasn't so bad. <laughs> All right like five hours till flight number two. We breezed through customs, which was a simple gaze into a camera. Well, that was the easiest of <laughs> customs. Ever. Hopped on our next flight and arrived in sweaters. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> My sister came to grab us. What, well, hello. Hi. Hi. Oh. It's so good to see you. Oh, it's so good to see you. I haven't seen you in forever. <laughs> and then we got to see Swab. Hey Swab. What are you doing? Hey Swab. Hey Swab. Hi. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, look at that tail. Hi. Hi. You ready for road trip this week? Huh? What are you doing? Hey, big boy. Good morning. Ready to go for a road trip? Boof. Oh. Oh, you're so warm. You ready? You wanna come? Let's go. <laughs> you ready to go, Swap? You wanna go? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, okay. We got a little excitement. <laughs> we picked up our rental car and got about a five hour drive ahead of us. halfway maybe another hour or so and we're gonna see Garrett's mom first and then uh, she gets a solid day with us tomorrow and then the following day we'll go see Garrett's dad and then we'll go back up to Sacramento everybody gets us for like a, a full day and a half day <laughs> quick trip it's nice to be able to do this road trip with Swab Garrett is actually using his phone's hotspot and is looking up light wind sails in the area, both this area and up where my sister's at too. So maybe we can pack something home with us. <laughs> Be free! Happy. Come down the steps, old man. 
Here we go. Oh, he didn't even need all of them. Who the hell you calling all? <laughs> oh my gosh. A ball of green things and red things. Swab's been living with my sister for nearly a year, and it was so special to get to do this quick road trip and just hang out. <laughs> How's that feel? Oh. Pretty good. Ah, the pound! Oh, you forgot pound? <laughs> Got a tag on him. How did that get there? Did you put that on him? <laughs> Grandpa's house well? <gasps> he was hiding. Look at that tail. Yes, he is. <laughs> Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Nice. <laughs> get him. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, he's so excited. <laughs> Look at those paws. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Swap. 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 Swap is in great health, but he's a deaf old man now. He is so loved and so much happier on land than on the boat. We cherish all you Swab fans out there. Good stuff. Good stuff. Garrett's dad's been tracking our progress, and it appears there's still a lot of map left to fill in. found a spinnaker that should work for us, and it just so happens to be on the way back to my sister's. Look out, Garrett's behind the wheel. <laughs> we also realized it has been a full year since Garrett had driven a car. Yeah, I mean, I guess it. we definitely need something. Um, I mean, are you flexible on the price? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Such a big sail <laughs> folds up so small. Yeah. 200 bucks lighter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a couple patches said, needed, but. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's, it's just. stitching. You know, it's just old and it's been, you know, probably shoved up in the locker of a boat for many years. So it's just old, dirty, and smells like old boat. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. The material, the stitching looks fine. There's a little, there's a few areas that need some little patches, but. But yeah, for 200 bucks, it's fine, it's, you know. And I'm not about to leave empty-handed. Yeah, from the you've trip been looking here. this entire week. Yeah, yeah, and you know, thankfully, we mainly, we need this right now for the trip up north in the sea, which we've had mostly just like down, like winds right behind us or right on the quarter. So it doesn't have to be a perfect sail. It's a big downwind sail, it's just a, big balloon to catch the wind. <laughs> <laughs> we return Swab home and get to see the rest of my family before heading back to the boat with our loot. <laughs> oh, he's just <laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> Is your humans? New line, spare impellers, upgraded camera gear, including this velvety new microphone, have to be distributed for weight and itemized for customs. My sister happened to still be holding on to an old sale of ours, and minus a few garage mice nibbles, it was in pretty good shape. Well, 
that's exciting. I think we should be pretty well covered for downwind sailing. We'll see. We might be able to reach, do like a deep reach with these, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> and we've got 50 pounds and 50 pounds of boat stuff. <laughs> At all. Well, thank you so much for everything. Yeah, it's so good to see you. We had the same layover in Phoenix, but this time overnight, and had to claim and recheck our bags. We got a hotel for the evening, a forced decompression stop, if you will. Friends aboard Kessel kept an eye on Red Aviva while we were away and happened to be on shore when our taxi dropped us off and offered to ferry us home. Your brother should be getting closer. Yeah, yeah. I think he left La Paz a day or two ago on his way here. And the world shrinks further as they know Reed, who is about to catch up aboard his boat, Imua. Her decks and her decks look great. Everything looks great. The seagulls uh, didn't get to us too bad at all. Yeah, wow. Actually, the boat looks perfect. She's still nice and tacky. I don't see it. There's no bird dirt. How does that happen? It's like somebody washed off the boat for us. I don't see a, I don't see a single bird dirt. <laughs> even see a single dookie on the solar panels. Everything stayed on nicely. It's a little sun faded, you can tell. Alright. This is so weird. This is the first time we've experienced leaving yeah. like leaving the boat and having to like button her all up and yeah. coming back. Let her home. fend for herself. Yeah. I mean we've been gone ten days. That's crazy. Just smells like wood. Yeah. It smells and a really little good. bit of teak oil. Actually, it smells really good down here. It does. <sighs> Bridges are still running. Mm. Oh, it feels good to be home. <sighs> All right. A good ship, Red Aviva. It's a really good trip, and it's really good to be home. Yes. <laughs> Up next, we spot Garrett's brother on the horizon and explore new anchorages together and play with our new to us spinnaker. It's a perfect fit and it's flying really nice. Oh, that's so awesome to hear. Yeah, it, it looks really cool. If you like the video, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing so we can see you next week. <laughs> Hello. Where are you? Such a weirdo. I reject your reality and substitute my own. I reject your reality and substitute my own. Adam Savage. 
It's the Mythbusters guy. Uh. How do you not know who Adam Savage is? God, you're such a nerd. I can see clearly now the booze is gone. <laughs> Oh, shit. Where is it? Oh, my God. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> 